Hello everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this is episode number 94. Well, hello, everybody. Once again, and as always, thank you for taking the time to stop on by right here on this show. What's uh, what's the matter? Oh, oh, the sunglasses. Well, I'm just uh, really excited that Mother Nature's finally decided to give us summertime. Yeah. So anyway, here we are on the show. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. And as always, please take the time to subscribe to this channel and share with five new friends. All right. Well, let's jump right into it. Lots to share with you. First of all, we got down to Craven's Chill and Grill on Exmo Street this past Friday evening. Uh, don't get a chance to get out there too much, but I was happy to make the trip down there to see our friends from Cornerstone, a local group here from Sarnia, and uh, we stopped down there to see all the fun. and uh, A lot of local musicians down there showing their support, so uh, let's take you down there and show you some of the footage, and then we'll be back. All right, once again, Cornerstone down at Craven's Chill and Grill. They've often got uh, great live entertainment happening down there on the Saturdays and uh, great food all during the week. So stop down to Craven's Chill and Grill on x Street here in Sarnia. Enjoy some of the great food and a few bevies as well. And be sure to check out their live entertainment on the weekends. Thank you again, Cornerstone. Love the performances. Looking forward to next time. All right, well, of course, uh, lots of other things happening on the Saturday night. We got down to Patty Flaherty's. They had some great live entertainment. We were down there with a show camera making a commercial for a Patty Flaherty's contest that they're trying to win between the other Patty Flaherty's in southwestern Ontario. So head to their Facebook page, and you'll see the video, and click on the like, and be sure to share it as well. But we were down there for some great performances, two bands. First off, The Highest Order was there, and we got to talk to Simone, the uh, singer from The Highest Order, after gave us one of their CDs. Thanks for that. And we're looking forward to having them here on the show. And uh, they say that they will. Also, and right after that, the headliner for the night. Very excited to see them. Heard lots about them, but uh, never heard of them before, or never seen them live before. So it was great to see them do these really amazing performances. You're going to see some cool stuff. Anyway, they are White Cowbell, Oklahoma, they are called. And uh, all I can do is show you the footage. So let's go down to Patty Flaherty's. Check out the highest order. And right after that, White Cowbell, Oklahoma. Take a look.
All right. Well, once again, down at Patty Flaherty's, some very exciting things down there. Thanks, Patty Flaherty's, for having us. And thank you to the Highest Order. Great uh, performance down there with Simone and her band. And, of course, White Cowbell, Oklahoma. Say that five times fast. Try it. I dare you. Ready, set, go. Yeah, you can't even do it. Anyway, sparks flying and uh, lots of fun. Of course, you saw them in carving or carving their names in on the, the Patty Flaherty stage and the door behind Patty Flaherty stage. And I'm told, uh, take a look around when you get down there, somewhere on the ceiling inside they carved their initials as well. So lots of fun down there. And uh, talk to both the bands, and they've said that they'd be more than happy to get here on the show. So looking forward to that. And, uh, oh, before I forget, don't forget to go to the Patty Flaherty's Facebook page and like the video that you're going to see that we took. Uh, they're in a contest between all the Patty Flaherty's and looking to win. So they've come close a few times, but they need your help. So uh, check out the uh, Patty Flaherty's Facebook page. All right, well, uh, of course, we're getting ready for Indie Fest, the all-day festival happening outside, out back at the Stubborn Mule this Saturday, August the 24th. And one of the bands performing from Sarnia, they're called Iron Shirt. And we're really looking forward to them. They're a lot of fun, and they've got some cool things lined up, they tell us. But we got down to their band cave, as I like to call them. And it wasn't so much of an interview. Actually, I lost control. These guys were just having a whole lot of fun and messing with me, and it turned out really good. So uh, be warned of what you might see or hear. But check this out. Here's Iron Shirt. Check it out, and then we'll be back. All right, this week on the show, of course, leading up to the all-day Indie Fest, coming up to the Stubborn Mule, out back at the Stubborn Mule. Five great bands happening starting at 5.30 and the Youth Talent Showcase during the day. And with us here, joining us, Iron Shirt. How are you doing, guys? Excellent. Good. Awesome. 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 Who's yeah. taking the lead? Who's going to talk here? Jerry, Ian? Maybe a little bit of everybody. everybody. Yeah, we, we, we speak together as well, one. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you start off, introduce group. yourself, and introduce the rest of the guys. All right, I'm Pat Rice, uh, lead guitar. Okay. Norm Fraser, rhythm guitar and vocal. Awesome. Ian Alexander, drums. Uh, do I have to worry about what I say? Why? I'm Jerry Grzeski. I, I play bass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody always yeah. leaves during a bass solo, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. So you guys, you know, I always ask bands, like, what's your genre? And that's, bands even have a tough time doing that. But how would you, you got to label yourself somehow. What are we going to see down there at Indie Fest? Who wants to answer that question? What did I call it before? Bipolar reggae rock. Bipolar yeah. reggae rock. Bipolar reggae rock. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That's we, clinical, but kind of accurate We did kind of coin um, regcore, kind of, because we have a lot of songs that are kind of reggae-based, and then they get real heavy, and then yeah, they okay. get real yeah, we mellow. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty loud and aggressive at times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reggae yeah. rock kind of thing, I guess. Reggae yeah. 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 So yeah. regcore was the, the thing we coined, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what about your antics on stage? You guys get a little crazy jumping around and all that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, we move around, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. We're not moving around. Depends. <laughs> on the level of inebriation too. That's not yeah, that. okay. yeah. well that's allowed and what and, yeah. yeah and what it and, is and that you're involved. on yeah. yeah absolutely now what about writing <laughs> songs so it's, uh, what about writing songs does everybody participate in that uh, how does that come together for you yeah we just tend to jam them out I write most of the lyrics or all of them actually yeah yeah I wrote the lyrics and then we just bring them to the table and we uh, jam them out and down here in the cave down, down here in the, in the cave, cave. Yeah. yeah awesome now you guys have been playing some spots already like uh, ups and downs you've been down there a few times so yeah uh, ups and downs Trinity uh, we're actually doing um, a thing at the uh, library for one tomato one tomato oh. yeah for okay. one tomato when's that uh, it's it's September 12th. 12th yeah cool at 4 30 to 6 at Perfect. the library, yeah. So, and that's community. kind of like you know a community kind of event, you know. Um, good stuff. Community stuff's always good. Absolutely. Well, we're excited to have you coming down to Indie Fest. You guys are going to be going on uh, probably. I'm thinking around six thirty, seven o'clock. And uh, are we going to see any surprises from you guys that maybe haven't been performed yet, or is it going to be a regular show? Pat takes his shirt off. Yeah, uh, Pat's shirt gonna off. Take his Nobody shirt off. wants. What to time do does that. that happen? Hopefully never. <laughs> beginning from beginning to end. It's the first thing we do. We'll see how much Perfect. Pat drinks before we play. Though. Okay, well, well, it'll be early. So. Well, thanks guys uh, for giving me the time here to be have you here on the show, and thank you so much for being a part of Indie Fest. We're really excited to have you down there for that as well. No problem. Happy to be yeah, there. Excellent. Thanks Once again, we're here in the cave with Iron Shirt and. Uh, I'm really not sure what to expect at Indie Fest, uh, honest to goodness, but I know it's going to be a great show. 
All right, welcome back. Once again, thank you, Iron Shirt. Uh, lots of fun happening there. Thanks, guys. Looking forward to the performance on Saturday out back at the Stubborn Mule. And, uh, well, it's just it's going to be an interesting night, that's for sure. Well, let's talk about what's happening this Saturday, August 24th. Of course, Indie Fest, the all-day festival. It's been coming for about seven months now, and we're very, very excited. And we're also excited to say that Harmony for Youth has been very, very helpful in preparing for Indie Fest out back, pulling weeds, cutting grass, uh, the fence, part of the fence had to be cut down to get the stage that's going in there on the Friday night. So uh, thank you so much to Richard LaBelle and Mike Taylor from Harmony for Youth and all the Harmony for Youth that uh, came out and helped out. And I do have to say a special thank you to my daughter, Julie, and my son, Jason. Not that they had a lot of choice in the beginning, but I think they were glad after they saw the results of what was happening. So thanks to everybody. All the volunteers who've been a part of Indie Fest and who are helping us get ready, and specifically Harmony for Youth, which they're also going to be there on Saturday selling hot dogs and sausages, and I think they're going to have some Mr. Freezies and some baked goods as well. And we're really looking forward to uh, them being there. Harmony for Youth coming back, getting back on their feet from a, a bit of a hiatus seems to be the word. Uh, and we're excited to be helping them, and they're happy to be helping us. So thank you so much, Harmony for Youth. Looking forward to seeing them there on Saturday. They'll be there during the day and part of the night as well. But what happens during the day? The doors open at 12 noon. That's right. Free up until 4.30. We're going to be having a youth talent showcase starting at 2 o'clock, and we've got some participants we're really excited to see. Still some time if you'd like to be a part of the youth talent competition. Visit IndieFest.ca and send us in your uh, application. It's absolutely free. And we're looking forward to everybody that's going to be down there. And we're happy that we're going to be giving away some recording studio time, courtesy of Dave Allen from Sugar Tone Productions. First place, we'll get four hours recording studio time. Second place, we'll get two hours. Third place, we'll get one hour. And everybody who participates, all the acts that participate in the youth talent competition, going to get a, a free prize from from Little Caesars Pizza here in Sarnia. So thank you, Little Caesars, for that. Now, that goes on till about 4.30, and then we'll take a little bit of a break at the band set up, starting at 5.30, kicking off Indie Fest. will be Southern Fried Incorporated, great Southern rockers from Sarnia. And then, of course, from London, Ontario, Abandoned Souls, and they tell me they're trying a new show they've never done before, and they're gonna, they won't even give me a hint as to what they're doing, so we're looking forward to that, Abandoned Souls. And then, of course, Iron Shirt, whom you just saw, they will be performing right after that. Coming back also, Zealot's Desire makes a return to the All Day Festival Indie Fest. Looking forward to that as well. And once again, returning as well, headlining the night, if you will, Everglow will be here. they got some new tracks and a new show, and we're really looking forward to everybody. Five bands. Now, all we're asking for is a $5 minimum donation to come in and see these five bands. That's a buck a band, right? Pretty cheap. And uh, you're going to get some great entertainment. If you donate $10 or more, not only do we get access to Indie Fest and all the great talent that you're going to see down there, but you'll get a free Indie Fest t-shirt as well, while supplies last, of course. So that's what's happening. Doors open at noon, go until 11 o'clock at night. All ages come out and support independent music. And, of course, now support Harmony for Youth and helping them get back on their feet so they can keep supporting the uh, youth talent here in Sarnia. And it's all about paying it forward, as Harmony for Youth would say. So that's about all the time I got for you. If you want to be on the show, don't forget, send me an email to the show at davidburrows.ws. We'll look forward to having you down at Indie Fest this weekend. Whatever you do, be safe out there, everybody. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now.